So I heard that you were maybe interested in learning how to measure a tree. So I'm here in Black Rock Forest at what we call one of our long-term plots. These plots were established back in 1930 by Henry Tryon, the original forest manager here at Black Rock Forest. Now, Tryon established these plots because he wanted to know how he could help trees grow better to produce them for forest wood products. So he established a bunch of plots throughout the forest and thinned some of them out by cutting different species that maybe weren't quite as valuable and then leaving another stand as the control. We're here in one of the thinned plots 90 years later. So why do we want to measure a tree? Well, there are lots of dis different reasons. What we're interested in for the most part nowadays is what's called carbon sequestration. And that is how trees or other plants take carbon out of the atmosphere in order to grow. So if we measure the tree and see how much it's grown from year to year to year, we know how much carbon it's taking out of the atmosphere. Measuring the tree also will show us how much it's grown over the years, which can tell us good years from bad years. We can look at weather and climate for that year to see, oh, this was a really wet year. Oh, look, most of the trees grew more, things like that. It can tell us a lot about the health of the forest. So we do this every year on a series of our long-term plots to keep kind of our, our finger on the pulse of the forest. So when we measure a tree, we take the measurement at a standard spot called the diameter at breast height or DBH. And that is four and a half feet above the ground. We want a standardized measure because my breast height might be different than somebody else's breast height, like say an NBA basketball player whose breast height might be up here. So we've standardized the measure to four and a half feet or 1.37 meters. That's what we do here in the US. Internationally, a lot of the times, DBH is measured at 1.3 meters. So we can take a measuring tape and find that spot on our body, 1.37. It's about my shoulder. So I know when I go up to a tree to measure it, I wanna measure around it at about my shoulder height. Now these plots were established, as I said, in the 1930s, and we have measured these trees consistently since then. You'll notice on this tree that there's actually a paint line. That's what we've established as DBH, and look, we're about right, just a little bit above my shoulder, and we're gonna, we're gonna measure it. So we use a very special measuring tape called a DBH tape, or diameter at breast height tape, and it's got two different size, sides. It's got your regular side that's just like a linear measuring tape. And then it's also got your special DBH side. So that converts the circumference because we're going to wrap around the tree. And going around a circle, as we might remember from geometry class, is circumference. Let's think about the relationship between circumference and diameter. Circumference equals 2 pi r or pi d. So all this tape does is basically divides an inch by pi. So it does the math for you. Uh, it's a great little thing because you have to do less math. Math is important. So now we're gonna measure the tree. All we have to do is we have to take our tape, make sure we're gonna be on the right side. And now this is when you actually get to hug the tree. Wrap the tape around. I am now on the wrong side. Make sure it's on the right side. Make sure you're not twisted at all. And you wanna get right on the line as best you can, right on this paint line that we've measured year after year. And you wanna try and make sure you're level with the way the tree is growing. So you don't want the tape to be skewed down in the back like this or up like this. That's gonna give you a bad measurement. You want it to be nice and 
level, right on the line. And normally you'll have a data recorder with you and you would say, this is tree number 57 and it is 16 point, nope, just kidding. This tree is 17 inches in diameter. So if you come in and look at this measuring tape, see we're 16 here, point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we round. You could say it's 16.99, but we round that up to 17 inches. I should also mention that we measure these trees in inches because they were established, like I had said, back in the 1930s. The metric system wasn't adopted by the world until around the mid 1970s. And since these trees have always been measured using English measurements, we continue to take them in inches. Most of our other plots around the forest where we measure trees are actually measured in centimeters using the metric system, as that is the standard for science these days. Well, I hope you learned a lot about measuring trees and the importance of it. And if you're interested in this long-term data set, you can visit Black Rock Forest website and you can download the entire data set from 1930 to now for all eight plots.